Hello Gut Squad, this is Cecily as always. Today we are going to be talking about finding the right bag for you. There are quite a few things to consider when you're looking at like what bag to use for which occasion and why certain bags might be better for you and certain bags might be better for another person. I love going through like what I use with you guys, which I've already done, but I really want to talk about the different types of bags. You know, this will not be an exhaustive list, but I'll try to get through some of the ones that I've tried and maybe go through some of the brass tacks, general things that you should look at when you're starting to look at a new bag type. So the first thing I want to talk about is the difference between a two-piece system and a one-piece system. Any AWSME bag you get will either be a one-piece or a two-piece, at least that's been my experience. A two-piece system will have the wafer, this is the wafer, the wafer will be separate from the actual bag part. So you'll have a wafer and you'll have a bag and you'll have to attach those things when you're applying them to the skin. So as you can see they usually clip in, there's usually like a clip system where they click in, they lock in, you can kind of hear it, and then voila, you have a bag that is technically two pieces, but really looks like one. One thing you want to make sure of when you're using a two-piece system is to keep in mind that sometimes uh, it can be tough to know whether or not you've closed the whole thing when it's not on your skin. So maybe just like run your hand around the edges and make sure that it's all sealed. Just a little tip. I've definitely made the mistake of not making sure that the perimeter of my, my bag was clipped onto the wafer and it caused a ton of leakage. This was a my, my first like six months of having an ostomy. So it happens to the best of us. The difference between this type of bag being a two piece and this kind of bag being a one piece is that as you can see, this one piece bag has the wafer attached to the bag. So the wafer and the bag are not distinct. They have to be taken together. That means that when you're making a bag change, you'll have to change both the wafer and the bag part. This is annoying for some people. Some people prefer to have the two piece system because a lot of people would say that they kind of last longer. You can take out if the bag gets really dirty or you don't like the bag that you're using or you want to switch between a translucent bag and an opaque bag, then you can just take them off and leave the wafer on your skin. But with a one piece system, you have to take the bag with the wafer. So if you're going to use a one piece system, just recognize that you will have to make probably more frequent bag changes and you may have a little bit more skin irritation just from pulling the adhesives off of your body more often than you would with a two-piece system where the wafer can stay on your abdomen. I use one-piece bags. This is only because I like to wear tighter fitting clothing and I'm a little bit more active in my day and I like to wear clothes where the ostomy isn't really protruding very much. The one-piece bag is usually recommended for people who lead a little bit more of an active lifestyle or maybe want the bag to be a little bit more discreet. As you can see, these two things, <laughs> this is significantly flatter. The one-piece system is significantly flatter. This is a coloplast bag, this is a two-piece Hollister bag. So they're both they're both thin. They're both thin. It's likely that no one is gonna notice, but if it's just bothering to you to have something that's a little bit more bulky on your abdomen, then I would recommend going with a one-piece bag if it works for your case. That's really up to personal opinion. Some people think that two-piece bags are a lot easier to use and change. I totally respect that position. They I think they are too, <laughs> but I like the discretion of a one-piece bag. The next thing to consider is whether or not you want a drainable or a closed-end pouch. So a drainable pouch will be one where there's basically like a little nozzle at the end where you can open this up and voila, out comes the stool through this little hole. Now, a closed end bag is a little bit different. It's more like a pouch and it has absolutely no drainage available. So you can't actually drain your bag once you've filled it with stool or urine or whatever it is that you're uh, disposing in your ostomy bag. Closed end bags are typically considered like a one use bag and you'd have to dispose of it after you uh, defecated or urinated in the bag. I prefer the nozzled systems just because I prefer to wear my bags for multiple days in a row, but if that's not your case, if there's something where you don't need to empty it, but you just need to kind of cover the stoma for a little bit, no problems using a closed end bag. I've used them before. They weren't my favorite, but they work really well for some people. The next thing to consider is whether to use a convex bag or a flat bag. These are 
are kind of tough questions, and I think it really goes case by case. If you have any kind of an ostomy nurse or someone who helps you choosing your bags, maybe a home care nurse, something along those lines, they're the best people to ask for your specific case. But as a patient, um, you also have some liberty to decide which bags you like and which bags work better for your abdomen and for your lifestyle. The reason I use convex bags is because convex bags provide a little bit extra leak protection, especially if you're someone who's prone to leakage, has high output, or maybe have something like a hernia that kind of makes the area around your stoma a little bit difficult to fit a flat bag on. A convex bag looks like this. It's a little bit bulkier than your normal one-piece system uh, with a flat wafer. This is a convex wafer. It has a little protrusion here that will kind of surround and cushion the stoma, making sure that it has extra leak protection. It's also nice because this sort of ridged area can be put around like any kind of bumpiness or texture you may have on your abdomen. For instance, I know people who have abdominal hernias who frequently use convex bags because they're just a little bit easier to fit than having, say, you know, a flat ye old wafer. I have a big scar down my abdomen. It creates a lot of bumpiness around where my ostomy bags are supposed to fit me, but having a convex bag is really nice because with a flat bag, I tend to leak more because of that bumpy ridginess that comes from having a scarring. As I said, really an individual case by case decision for you to make, but these are just some of the general things to keep in mind about the difference between a flat versus a convex bag. Convex bags are a little bit better for people with like rounder bellies. It makes it easier for the stoma to be surrounded by something that's kind of rigid. As you can see, convex bags have a little bit more structure to them, I think, especially in coloplast products than in um, the case of the flat bag, which is really flexible and great for people who don't have any kind of herniation or texture and bumpiness on their tummy. It's great for them. I've seen a lot of people have a lot of success with flat wafers, but for me and for people with rounder bellies, hernias, etc., a convex bag might be something that's better for you. It just provides more structure and more leak protection for your stoma. Next, we're going to talk about the differences in the opacity of your bag. So this is an opaque bag. This is an opaque bag. This is an opaque bag. They all have the inability to see through the bag. These are translucent bags. They're clear. You can see through them and you can obviously see your stoma and anything that you may be putting in the bag. <laughs> I have found the most success using an opaque bag when I'm going to be dealing with like a group of people and my ostomy is going to be showing or if I'm being intimate with my partner and I want to cover up what's coming out of the stoma and the stoma itself. For some people in my experience, it can be weird for them to see your stool and the stoma through a clear bag. Clear bags are great for going to the hospital or for going to a nursing visit or for going to any kind of healthcare visit where they might want to see what the stoma looks like, check on it, see what your stool consistency looks like, what's the stool color. If you're going through a period of time when you're having a lot of doctors and nurses look at your stoma, it, I could recommend that having a clear bag will make your life a little bit easier. A great thing about coloplast is that coloplast offers you sort of the option to have it both ways. The opaque bags from coloplast have the ability to actually tear off the opaque part <laughs> so you reveal the inner area of your stoma and you can look at what the stool is actually doing. So this is the viewing window. You can just look at the stoma through the viewing window. In this case, I haven't taken off the viewing window yet, the opaque part, but you can also lift it up and show healthcare workers, oh, this is what my stoma looks like today. It looks great. You can lift this up and say, oh, this is what the stool looks like. It looks good. It looks bad, whatever. But you can also take off this bottom part if you don't need it to be opaque anymore, if you're at your nursing visit and you're like, oh, I don't really care who sees it now. My nurse needs to see my stoma. You can actually take off this part of it. It doesn't hurt the bag. It doesn't injure the bag. It doesn't create holes in the bag at all. And there you go. Now I've just made a an opaque bag into a clear bag. So if I need a healthcare worker to take a look at it, they can just pop it off and say, oh, you look great or 
oh my god, there's a terrible problem. <laughs> I don't know if Hollister does the same thing, as you guys probably know. I'm more of a Cold Pass girl, so I know more about what Cold Pass products do and what their features are. But one of the best things that I found about Cold Pass is that you can just change the opacity of your bag in five seconds by tearing off the opaque layering. Well guys, I think that was it for this video, but please, if you have anything to add, like uh, what bags you use or what bags you found most helpful, if you love convex or you hate two pieces, I want to I want to hear all about it. <laughs> um, I have some pretty strong opinions at this point about what bags I like to use, but really the type of bag I'm going to use depends a lot on the situation I'm in or what the next few days look like for me. If I'm gonna see a lot of doctors, I might wear a clear bag all the time. But if I'm not gonna see a lot of doctors and I'm gonna be spending a lot of time with my boyfriend, I'll wear an opaque bag. <laughs> Just to be a little bit more sensitive to people who maybe don't want to see stool all the time or see an ostomy outputting constantly. But it's really up to you. Please leave me comments, let me know how you feel. If you like the video, please subscribe, uh, stick around. We'll be having way more ostomy content. And uh, I just wish you guys all the best just keep staying inside, keep washing your hands, and stay safe out there, Gut Squad. I'll see you later. Bye.